Hi, this is Martin Verbeer from Getting Stuff Done, and in this video, we're going to talk about should we mow our lawns in the winter? Let's jump straight in. All right, so the dilemma we have is we've been having a very, very mild winter, and my lawn is getting really, really tall. So at the moment, if I grab a tape measure, I am sitting here at, gosh, almost, almost four inches, three to four inches on some places here, and it's very, very mild. So the question is, do I mow this? So couple of things to consider here. So the first thing is check is the grass, is there frost, right? If the grass is frosty, stay off the grass because what happens is if I grab some grass here, what happens is the water freezes inside the cells here. Now, if I'm going to walk on that, I'm actually going to damage the cell structure on, on the grass. I'm actually going to break the, the cells inside. And what happens then the plant's going to die and it's going to go brown. So, I know the kids love walking all over the crunchy sound. I actually like it a little bit of myself. <laughs> but stay off. If, 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 if there's frost on there, don't bring the mower out. The moment you start rolling over that, you're just going to be damaging the grass. Um, the same with walking on it when it's frosty, rather stay off it. Um, next thing is then, at the moment, temperature wise, I mean, we're sitting here, if you're sitting above four or five degrees, so what's that, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, right? That is pretty mild here for a winter. You're absolutely fine to go ahead and cut. You know, this might be the last opportunity you get. You've got no idea how wet spring is gonna be. It could be a, a really damp, wet spring, and you just might not have that opportunity to give it another cut before a long time, and you're gonna end up with your grass looking really, really tall, and you're gonna have to maintain quite a bit. If the temperature is above four or five degrees, that's nice and warm, the grass is gonna be growing, you can keep mowing, right? Below four or five degrees, it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, the growth of the grass is really gonna slow down. So there's not really any need to cut because it's, it's not gonna be growing. Think about it this way, right? Any golf course or sports ground, like football ground or something like that, just because it's winter, they don't stop mowing. What they do is they just change their plan, their maintenance plan, they tend to cut on a higher setting but they keep cutting. So the general rule is if it's growing, keep mowing. But below uh, at 0 degrees or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, that's where water freezes and you definitely don't want to be cutting like that. So the simple rule here is if it's growing, just keep mowing. Right, so for length, what you want to do is uh, use the rule of a third, right? So never ever cut more than a third of the grass. And the reason is very simple. So again, if I take that grass, all of the food, if you remember back to school days, photosynthesis and all that type of thing, all of the food is produced by the blade and that produces whatever the energy and the stuff is that the roots need to sustain the plant. If we're going to lob all of that off, right, you're going to reduce the amount First of all, you're going to take all that stored energy away for the plant and also you're going to limit its amount that it can produce for the rest of the season. And so you're just going to really, your grass is going to struggle a little bit. So you don't want to cut more than a third off. So if I'm sitting here, say at three inches, the, the length that we're looking for, ideally for a winter cut, is probably somewhere between about two, two and a half, maybe three inches at most. So we're looking at somewhere around five to seven centimeters. That's about that much. Somewhere between that and that is a good height for winter. And that just keeps a little bit of um, length there, but it's not too, you know, you're not really sculpting the lawn and taking it right down. So I'm gonna cut only a third off. So if I've got three inches, I'll cut one inch off so I can get to about two inches. So a way that you can test that is I've mowed this little section here. Put your mower on the higher setting, give it a little mow and then have a little test. And I can see I'm at about two inches there, maybe a little bit under that. So I've set it on the second highest. Um, so ideally, I'm going to set that up one higher one. Do the test somewhere in a corner somewhere where you're not going to notice if you've cut it too low. And then just work out from your settings what's an ideal to get to about two, two and a half. But you're just cutting off a third of the top. Right, the next thing is normally for clippings. In, normally in, in summer or spring, I would leave the clippings because I'm just taking off the tops and um, I'm happy for that just to break down and go back into the system. It dries out really quickly and disappears. In winter, however, it's a different thing, right? You don't really want anything laying on top of your grass. So for example, if you're in the winter, if you don't want to mow, make sure that at least if there's leaves on your grass, get those off your lawn because leaves, is, if that's gonna lay, you've got all that dampness trapped underneath there, you're gonna get the moss growing, you're gonna get disease growing under there because anything normally moldy is where, you know, sort of fungi type stuff 
would end up uh, growing. So I want to give you a quick example here where we can see there's a couple of leaves that have fallen here on the grass and effectively what it does is it's stopping the sunlight from getting through and so when you lift that up you can see the imprint that it's actually making and nothing is growing underneath here where these leaves are. So for example this one here, poppy over there, you can see there the moment I lift that up it kills everything underneath there and this moss here is all too happy. Same here lift that up look it kills the grass underneath there and the moss just absolutely loves it look at that so definitely if you're not going to mow at least get the blower out or get the rake out and get those leaves off so that you don't have that um, wetness sitting on top of your grass and also sort of compacting that down also if there's grass or something same with the clippings or leaves on top there you're actually going to restrict any of the sunlight or or the light getting through which means the plant can't through photosynthesis and things like that it cannot produce the necessary energy to sustain that plant and that's why it starts dying off as well so you want to get any of that off so when i'm going to be cutting here first of all i'll get the leaves off now i'm definitely wanting for the next season invest in a blower because i've got a little bit more than i can maintain with a rake here so i can just blow and even if i'm just blowing off the leaves into the sides just if you don't have much time just get it off the lawn can blow it into the sides there that's absolutely fine it can break down into the flowers or if there's a loads of it you might want to pick it up so quick way is just blow it into a corner run the mower over it and just check what's left there that you don't have a load of debris lying on top of the lawn okay so that's the clipping so in this case i'm actually going to mow with the bag on uh, once i've gotten rid of the leaves i'm going to mow and pick up the clippings again so i don't want anything lying on top here another question is what happens if you know there's a frost coming up so if Tonight, for example, I'm going to be mowing and it's going to be frosting. If you know it's going to be really cold and frosty, it's probably not the best idea to do it. Obviously, if you're going to be cutting the lawn and you're going to be exposing that area there, it's a bit vulnerable if you're suddenly going to get a frost. But now it's very mild here, so I'm going to crack on. If you like this video, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. See you next time. Bye. Let's get mowing. Really? <laughs> yeah. But anything above four or five degrees, keep mowing. If the grass is growing, just keep on mowing. Oh, it's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs>